Hi, I'm Clint. And I'm Emily. And we are brother and sister, which means we are family. Not every family looks like us. There are all different kinds of families. You could say the crew on Connect Station is a kind of family. Exactly. And Jesus taught us a lot about how to treat each other. And sometimes it's hard to treat the ones in your home or your family the way Jesus told us to. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to talk about how we can live the way Jesus wants us to in our family. This week, we'll be exploring how family is made to share, care, and just be there. So think about that and how you can connect what Jesus taught us to how you behave in your family. Hmm. They're thinking. Are they? I can hear them. Mm. <laughs> Oh, Mike, I don't listen. Ha! Check, because I'm the king! Okay. Checkmate. <laughs> what? How did you do that? Because I'm good. Nitro? What was that? I do not know, but I believe it came from the engine room. I will investigate. I bet Nitro can beat you. I bet not, because I'm awesome. Did something happen? Uh, Nitro's on it, don't worry about it. I do not want to alarm everyone. This isn't good. It's good, Nitro's on it. Since when has a sentence that ever began, I do not want to alarm you, ever been good? It appears that the heating system has shut down. I told you. I will be making the adjustments. We should still be prepared for it. I think I have it. <laughs> what is that? It is my industrial strength thermo heat coat. You look like a giant tennis ball. But I am warm. Can I try it on? Not yet. It's still experimental. It looks cool. It's mine. I'll let you wear it later. Clint, you're being all let off danger. It's just, I have to test it out first. Just saying you could share. That doesn't sound good. Unfortunately, the heating system has ruptured. It is now broken. It will take some time to repair. Did Dr. Emo make this place out of Legos? No, it is made from a rare metal called Futonium. Just how cold is it going to get? Below freezing. But I promise you, I will be able to make it work again. It just may take some time. Cool. I have my coat. Cool. I have my coat. Oh, come on, guys. How bad could it get? B bad. It's bad. I can't feel my nose. I don't think I can feel my legs. <sighs> Um, I'll make some tea. That should help. Let me make some tea. That should help. What's your problem? You can see that we're absolutely freezing. He could care about us enough to share his coat. He's just being a little shellfish. Shell, shell, selfish. A little? Ugh. We are a family. And a Family is made to share, care, and just be there. Did you say something? Ugh. It's cool. I mean, cold. Oh, your face is blue. <laughs> oh. Melissa, I, I think I have an electric blanket. That will make you f f feel better. Thank you, Mike, for caring about me. I can't m m move. <sighs> 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 
Oh, you know, oh. I almost forgot. I brought you gloves. Thank you. You are a huge help. Oh, yeah, anytime. <laughs> Guys, <sighs> Mike, thank you. Oh, if it wasn't so cold, I'd wrap up Clint's head in this. <sighs> Chill. It's all gonna be okay. Don't say chill. Nitro! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Please tell me you fixed the heat. I am not able to tell you that, because I have not. It seems that the temperature is moving backwards. What d does that m m mean? Hmm, means it's going to get really, really cold. Thank you for the information, Clint. Is d d that what m m means, Nitro? Affirmative. But I will fix it. Do not worry. May I borrow your super screwdriver, Clint? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, you can borrow my super screwdriver, Nitro. It's at the bottom of the uh, anything bag. <laughs> d -d 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 don't worry, guys. Nitro will f f fix it. Everything will be okay. Not sure the same can be said for Clint. Ooh. Okay, so we didn't fix it. I think I'm a popsicle. <laughs> Guys, you need anything? Your coat! You could share your coat! <laughs> but then I'd be cold. <laughs> Don't you guys care about how I feel? You should care about how we feel! Well, I'll, uh, I'll go check to see if we have anything to keep you warm. This crew is on fire! <laughs> Do you need help? I think I'm frozen to the couch. This is an awful way to end. All I could find is more tarps. That's not going to work. It's too cold. There's nothing else. I could make some more tea. Feeling hot, hot, hot. No, no more t t tea. This tea is... Frozen! Mike, we could steal his jacket. No, 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 no. I, we, no. I, I, I think I have a, a, a space heater. It's small, but it, it'll help. Thank you, Mike, for treating me like family because you share! Thank you, Mike, for always being there, for always caring and sh sharing. It's fine. I think it's well below freezing. I guess I'll space penguin. Maybe we could make a fire? There's no wood on a space station. Good point. How about your coat? Wouldn't fit you anyway. <sighs> Don't worry. We can just use my trunk of tricks. That's enough wood, right? Awesome! I'll get an axe! Oh, that's it! You need to share coat! Mike is willing to give up the thing he loves the m most. I do love my trunk of tricks. And you won't even let us borrow your coat for five minutes! But it's mine! I got you lots of stuff! I'm sharing! That's not sharing. That's like the bare minimum of sharing. That's like sha. That's not even a word. That's like half a word. Can't move. We can't think. You need to share your coat. I mean, seriously, look what you've done to Mike. Almost there, but it will get colder. Ugh. Why don't you go to the room and ask if you're acting the way you should? Fine. Hi. Room? Hello, Clint. How can I help you? My friends say I'm not sharing. 
or caring, but I am. I don't understand why they are mad. They are like your family. Have you gone the extra mile? Hmm, extra mile? When it comes to your family, they are made to share, care, and just be there. Hmm. So, what does that look like? I'll show you in this story that Jesus told about going the extra mile. Thanks, Rune. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's a life of Christ to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. It's history, his story, whose story, God's story. Story of how much he loves me. Let him know up all the pages that this show gone on. Let his word explode from this video into your life. What's going on? Is that you? Yeah. My little sister broke my earbuds. She was using them as a jump rope. I'm going to get even with her. That's what's fair. Well, a verse in the Bible says if someone gives you a black eye, their punishment is a black eye. Or if someone knocks out your tooth, it's fair to knock theirs out too. That's what I'm talking about. But that was in the laws of the Old Testament. In the New Testament, Jesus says the right thing to do is to go above and beyond what is fair. But fair's fair. She deserves it. Jesus says getting even isn't God's best. It's his famous teachings in the book of Matthew. What did Jesus say we should do? Turn the other cheek. What? No idea what that means. Well, Jesus said, if someone slaps you in the face, you should go above and beyond what's fair and even. And not slap them back? And offer them the other cheek. And just let them slap it too? No way, that's not fair. Jesus is saying that although it seems impossible without the power of God's love, that we should care more about kindness and forgiveness than fairness and getting even. Whoa, that's tough. I don't know if I want to live that way with my sister and the jump rope earbuds. Didn't Jesus say anything else? He did say give away your shirt. What's that got to do with fair? Jesus said if someone threatens you and takes your coat, give them your shirt too. Give them more than what you were asked to give. To some bully? No way! There's more. He said it in another way too. I'm not sure I want to hear this. Go the extra mile. Yep. I didn't want to hear that. Sounds like something else hard. In those days, it was the law that a soldier could make you carry their stuff for them for a mile. Heavy stuff even if it was out of your way, or hot, or raining. That is just as hard as the slapping thing and the shirt thing. But Jesus said, if you're asked to carry it one mile, carry it for two miles. Do an extra mile even without complaining. Jesus was one tough teacher. Yeah, but think about it. He lived this way, didn't he? Yeah, I guess you're right. So give to those who ask. Don't turn away from someone who needs something from you. And don't settle for fair when you could show kindness. Don't settle for getting even when you could give God's love instead. I guess I need to go make things right with my sister. I want to be like Jesus, even if it's hard. Mike? Uh, Are you alive? I feel like a hot dog in the freezer. I've been selfish. You think? I'm so sorry, you guys. I should have shared more. I thought I was doing a lot, but I was just doing a little. Thank you. Let's put all this stuff together. I think if we put it all together, we'll be okay. And even my coat? I can't link. No, can't link. Thank you. It really is warm. It looks better on you anyway. Oh, thank you. It is my color. I like it. Oh, cool. Mike, it's your turn. Time to thaw you out, guy. <laughs> Mikey, the snowman, wants to give a little high five. Oh, yeah. I believe I have fixed it. Ooh. Okay. It's working. Sweet, beautiful heat! 
Oh, it's wonderful. It's like a hug from the sun. Guys, I can't. Ooh, my eyes. No, nope. still can't link. Help. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Did you catch the point? Family is made to care, share, and just be there. Think about what that means in your life. Sharing is not just sharing your stuff. It's sharing your time. We can comfort each other when someone is going through something hard. Or laugh in the good times. In a family, you need to share everything. Right. You can also help your parents out by sharing the chores, mowing the lawn, helping with dinner. It's more than just about sharing stuff. Families are made to share. The Bible says in Galatians 6 2, share each other's burdens, and in this way, obey the law of Christ. Remember, when we share, we are obeying God. And so next time you want to hold on to that toy or the video game controller. Or the last scoop of ice cream. <gasps> oh. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> just say this point. Families are made to share, care, and to just be there. It's a great way to live. Until next time. Do you know what we're doing next time? Sharing more? No. I can't keep that a secret. <laughs> I can't keep... Why didn't we tell me these things? <laughs>